I fly with the birds. I don't fly without birds. The bird that biologist Johannes Fritz is talking about is the northern bald ibis, also known as the waldrop, a species of bird that used to soar over Central Europe. That is, until humans hunted them to continental extinction about 400 years ago. But now, a team of scientists is working to bring them back to the skies. With the help of a tiny plane, they're teaching these birds how to migrate again. So, how do you teach birds to follow a plane? It comes down to a very special bond the birds have formed with their foster parents, Helena Ver and Barbara Steininger, who have been hand-raising them since April. Now the birds follow them everywhere they go, even up in a tiny aircraft in the sky while they shout encouragement into a megaphone. They say, uh, come, come, Waldi, come, come. That means, come on, board up is come on. You have to build an emotion and a relationship, not only to the group of these birds, but to each single individual. All of them have names, all of them have personalities. Yeah, it's like parenting. Yeah, it's right. Parenting, right. Yeah, <laughs> that's quite challenging because at the end, you know, migration has risks. We sometimes lose birds. You have to release them in the wintering site and accept that they are now independent and don't need you anymore. And independent they are. Since 2011, an increasing number of birds have returned to Austria from their wintering grounds in Tuscany or southern Spain. Four generations of birds have bred in the wild, passing on the migration routes they've learned from their human foster parents to their offspring. Johannes is hopeful that within the next four years, we'll see self-sustaining populations of the northern bald ibis. He's confident that we can use this same technique to help other threatened migratory birds, like species of geese and cranes, either relearn their ancient migratory routes or find new wintering grounds. What is increasingly necessary is to change the migration pathway because the wintering sites or the breeding sites change in a way that it is not longer suitable for the species. These changes in times of climate change are simply much too fast.